All right, before we get ahead of ourselves, the inspiration for this came from this. And I'm going to show you how you can build one in less than three minutes. It's really easy. Now with this new design, I decided to go with free milk jugs. But if you don't mind using PVC, you can get something set up just like this. And in relatively little space, we grew all kinds of tomatoes, mint, basil, cilantro, kale, collards, all kinds of stuff. And both systems are set up relatively the same. It starts with a reservoir with a pump that pumps your nutrients up to the top through a half inch irrigation hose. And there's a return so that your water makes its way from the top back down to the reservoir and recirculate your water. Now with the PVC, it's basically the same. I just drilled a couple holes in the four inch PVC. You've got your return with some 90 degree elbows. Here's your reservoir, just like the other one. We have a pump inside of it. Both systems work the same. We take the pump and hook up the irrigation pipe to it. And just drop it into the nutrients. Now this goes right into the beginning of the PVC pipe. And on the other end you've got a return that we use another 90 degree elbow. It's that simple. And you've got your slope, your return, and your nutrients can recirculate throughout the system. Now here's the only tricky part. You want a little bit of a slope. So I set mine on saw horses. You can put it on anything that's level. In the beginning, I put two pieces of 2x4. That raises it up 3 inches. Down at the other end, I put one piece of 2x4. Then you have an inch and a half drop. And the very end of it, I have sitting directly on the sawhorse. That way, that end is 3 inches lower than the very beginning. Real easy way to get a slope. Now, we'll talk about the nutrients in another video. And pretty much it's just putting plants in just like I've done in all my other stuff. You plug it in and let it go. Hope that helps. Keep on growing.